So to start, place a sensor in a horizontal position with the flat black side facing toward the area you want to scan. For boards without a case, the antenna side should face towards the object you're scanning. Although the image is three-dimensional, the separation between the objects is most visible along the axis. This displays polar coordinates. The horizontal axis is the phi angle, and the vertical axis is the distance. The display on the right shows the same Y and Z view of the targets in the arena. This displays Cartesian coordinates, in which the horizontal axis is the Y axis, and the vertical is the Z axis. The coloring represents intensity. So the red color is the highest, green and yellow for mid-range, light blue for minor reflections that are low intensity. For tracking moving targets, you can use the MTI mode. In this mode, all static objects are being removed from the image. Let's look at the arena parameters. The range defines the boundaries of the area from the center of the array from which the scan process will be performed. The theta and phi boundaries are defined in relation to the central axes going out from the sensor. You can see the current parameter is set to 20 degrees. The total beam aperture is plus 20, minus 20 degrees in the theta axis, so it's actually 40 degrees total. Similar, the 45 degree defines the beam in the phi axis. If I change the angle to 15 degrees, the beam will be narrower. The resolution defines the grid density of the image. Typically, one would want to have around 50 to 100 points in the axis of interest. The higher the resolution, the more processing duration, hence decreasing the refresh rate of the displayed image. The additional light color spots behind the targets are a result of multiple reflections going back and forth between the object and the sensor. We want to remove all fixed reflections, be it reflections from the wall, ceilings, or other static targets. This is done by the calibration process, which records the room background, and then things in the background will no longer register when you start to do the scan. Here the calibration is activated by the Apply and Calibrate button. An important phenomenon that relates to calibration is a so-called shadow. For example, if I calibrate in a room, things like the wall will no longer be shown. If I place my hand in front of the sensor, my hand will be detected, but I may also see a second dot where the wall is. This dot is the shadow of the hand on the wall. Meaning, when I place my hand in front of the sensor, it blocks the reflection that comes from the wall. The sensor then detects a change where the wall is, which results in a shadow target appearing. Reducing the threshold increases the sensitivity to small reflections. But on the other hand, the image will contain more details which could clutter the image. Adjust the threshold level to increase or decrease this based on your goals. This should be enough to get you started experimenting. Reach out to support at wallabot.com with your questions.